Hey, what up? This is Marcus. Today we're gonna to be talking about Vibe POS. It's a POS system, obviously from its name itself, but it's also a WooCommerce plugin, and the entire plugin is so easy to set up and easy, you know, and easy to get started using it. That you know, this video is probably not going to be very long um, so I'm going to be sharing with you how to make use of this plugin but before I dive in be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we go so the first thing to take note of about Vibe POS is that it is a POS system based on WooCommerce um, at the moment uh, it is you know it 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 is um, it doesn't have a mobile app um, but I, I'm not sure if it's actually being planned out right now uh, but you can use this very easily uh, it works on the browser and uh, of course you know you want to, if you want to make use of a POS system then uh, you know you you need to you, you probably would have a physical business presence somewhere like a uh you know like a retail store or something like that right so uh <clears throat> so then you know a pos system will make sense for you so let me just kind of jump in right here to vibe pos is very simple to use so uh so you can uh you know have this barcode view you can kind of pick between product id sku barcode and new product batch duration right so this one will just kind of show you when you create a new product it's just kind of going to show you you know these are the ones that are uh, new product badges and then whether you want to enable offline orders itself so what happens is that you can visit the uh, pos link you can start taking orders but it's only going to sync with your WooCommerce store when you are connected to the internet, right? Okay, so as soon as the app comes online, it syncs with the main server, right? So what happens is that if you someone deletes the database of the browser before syncing, the order will no longer sync, right? So, so that means if you were to close the browser or something like that, uh, you know, it's it's just you know, whatever sales that you have keyed in is not going to sync and then the pos login type uh whether whether you want to to have the vibe pos login or the wordpress login so what happens is that the vibe pos login you know you have its own uh, custom login page and then if you use the wordpress login it's what you know you get standard with wordpress and of course you can upload your logo and favicon itself choose the color right unfortunately there's no um you know custom color option so you can only pick from these ones right here and then uh the pos link type which is this one right here i'm going to open that up uh, but before i do so you can also see all uh you know your sales coming in from the pos system over here and you can set up rows so you can kind of limit them to you know what kind of access they have so for example the cashier will only have uh, so they cannot delete customers they cannot view other outlets orders uh, right and then they can't add products they can't edit products they can't delete products so you know it will tell you you know what kind of access you can have uh, with these individual roles right here and then outlet manager can only manage whatever is in their outlet itself right whereas for admin they would have full access okay and then the next thing is for you to set up outlets so maybe you have two different outlets you can create two different uh, outlets and then if you have multiple uh counters right that means like cashiers or uh cashier point or whatever it is you call that you can just add them in here okay it's very simple to use uh and then uh and pretty much that's all you need to do right you just you you it, it works with woocommerce so you know you upload products into woocommerce it's just going to sync instantly and so this is your cash balance uh, drawer so once you log in you know it will ask you what's your cash balance drawer and then you can just 
access it and then you would have access to vibe pos uh you know the the cashier counter itself okay so and you see everything it's in here it's all the products is sync from woocommerce itself right everything is sync from woocommerce itself so for example uh you know if you were to pick this one let's say this chicken satay right right do you want to have logo or no right you can pick the variation so um, let's say you want the sesame buddha uh, the chili you know you just kind of need to click or tap on them and then it goes into the receipt right here right and they can pick all the categories in here you know everything is so easy and fast and then you can scan the barcode as well if you want to uh, but you know you you because I'm on the the uh, uh, you know the desktop right here so of course you know it doesn't work but if you are on your mobile it will you know ask you for camera access and they can start scanning the barcodes right and then if they'll tell you like if you're connected uh, right now and so on and they can view the dashboard all the sales that's coming right and your orders you know most of the action happens in the uh you know the right pos itself right so you can manage the orders and they can see all the products in here uh of course you can also add products from vibe pos itself right and then your barcode scanner right you can generate barcodes for the products as well right so you can print them and paste them you can see all your customer database in here uh stock level and then if you want to you know purchase from your suppliers and refill stocks in your products you can do so here as well and then vendors right so these are all your suppliers uh, and then your user account right here right so it's crazy simple to use right crazy simple to use I mean I, I have nothing else <laughs> to kind of explain how to use this you know once you will put in everything that you want you can just click let's say you want to put a discount maybe $52 and then you can just uh, you know put that in uh, so let's let's try like $20 right and then just click in you know it adds the discount but if you want to give a percentage off you can do so as well you know like 10 percent just click on it right and then you can add a let's say 51 dollars service charge you can add a customer note you can bring out a calculator as well so that's very very nice and then you can search for your customer so you can ask the customer hey what's your name you have a membership with us whatever it is you know you can enter it in and then you know you get that information as well you can even hold the orders right so what happens is that sometimes maybe the customer wants to purchase something and then they say hey i forgot to buy something i'm just going to grab it for a while then they kind of let the queue move on you can also hold the you know the whatever it is uh, you know the the order itself and then you can bring back bring that back in right and then uh you know you can you know take over and then you can clear it off right so everything is just amazing i have i i am very impressed by this i i have no idea what else i can talk about this you can have a full screen mode as well so everything you know uh the only thing of course if they have a mobile app and then everything is much better but with vibe pos itself even on the browser it's amazing right so you can just have a tablet any kind of tablet anywhere that can access from the browser you can start using vibe pos so that's all i have to share about vibe pos i think it's an amazing amazing plugin so easy to use i have uh, definitely very impressed pros possibly the best pos system i've ever uh you know uh, you know come across that syncs with 
WooCommerce and it's easy to use, right? Um, definitely. So uh, I guess that's all I have to share about Vibe POS. If you enjoyed this video, right, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Lastly, if you know anyone who could benefit from Vibe POS, you know, if they run a physical store and they will also run an online business through WooCommerce, then be sure to share this video with them. Last, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.